Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all of the things I'm going to have in my makeup beauty bag for my trip to Wellington tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I really cannot wait to go home. I'm looking forward to catching up with all of my friends and also my family as well, because I've missed them so much. Um, and also, I wanted to say huge, huge thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to my channel. I uh, recently hit 5,000 subscribers, which is such a big deal for me. I never thought 100 people would subscribe to my channel, let alone 5,000. So it's just really humbling and it's so nice to know that so many of you out there are really enjoying the videos that I've been putting together. And yeah, I just really enjoy the kind of community that I feel like it's created and I always enjoy reading your comments and kind of responding and getting to know like-minded people. Anyway, um, I just wanted to talk a little bit yeah, about everything I'm going to be taking with me. So this is going to be a little bit of a chatty, get ready with me style video as I talk through and put on all of the makeup that I'm going to be bringing with me. So let's just kind of wipe all of this off. Okay, so this is the box of stuff oh, Christ. that I'm planning on taking with me. Well, actually, there's a couple of different options for a few different things since I'm not entirely decided yet. But I'm going to go ahead and just work through each product step by step. I'm just going to show you guys what is in my travel makeup case. So the first step is tinted moisturizer and the tinted moisturizer that I use is from NARS and it is their pure radiant tinted moisturizer and I've got this in the shade light 3 Grandland. I really like this, I like the finish, it looks really just, it's very lightweight, it looks very natural on the skin which is one of the reasons why I gravitate to it a lot. It's not very high coverage which is one thing that I really really enjoy about this product. I don't like things that look very heavy or cakey on the skin which is why this is just perfect for me. So I'm going to apply that with my Chi Chi Beauty Blender and I've got a little bit of Max Fix Plus here which I don't actually think I'm going to take with me to New Zealand but I'm just going to use it today. So I'm just going to spray a few spritz of that on here and just kind of squeeze that in and then pop a little bit of this on here and dot that all over my face. Um, one of the things that I really like about using Beauty Blender is just that it has such a really nice finish and it tends to share out the product a little bit as well. So if you are like me and you prefer a lighter, almost not even their coverage, then this is the way to go. Okay, so that's my base done. Now, I don't often wear concealer, but I am going to be taking one with me to New Zealand just in case. And the one I'm using is the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer. I really like this. It doesn't have any um, sort of light reflecting particles in it. But essentially, what I do is I, you know, put this in underneath my eye in sort of a triangular motion. And then I blend it out. And it's just really going to brighten up underneath my eye area and because I'm trying to minimize the amount of things that I'm bringing with me I am just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. So the next step for me is bronzer and I have been using the Essence Sun Club bronzer and this is in the shade Blondes or Lighter Skin which is obviously perfect for me right now because it is winter, or well I mean it's spring but it feels like winter at the moment, it's been absolutely miserable. So I'm just taking that on Morphe powder brush and just kind of popping that into the contours of my cheeks and just along the high points of my face as well. I'm not going to be going in with a contour powder just as I find that I already have a pretty strong contour as it is and I don't really need to highlight it any more than, than it's already present. Next up is blush and the blush I've been using has been the Erin Multicolor for Lips and Cheeks in the shade 01 Natural and it looks like this. It's really beautiful and I'm going to be applying that with a Morphe stippling brush. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this. The reason why I like using the stippling brush with the um, cream formula is that it applies it a lot less intensely and it ends up looking a lot more natural just because the fibers aren't as dense in the brush. Okay, so next I'm going to go into the eyes and 
I've actually got a couple of different choices for what I'm going to take with me, so I'm not entirely sure, but I, initially I thought I was going to take the Lorac Pro palette. Now I'm sort of thinking I want to take my MAC palette, but this is huge, but then I can do so much with this if I take this with me. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my eyelids using the NARS Pro Prime Eyeshadow Base, and this stuff is amazing, so I'm just going to use a little bit of that across my eyelids. I find that my eyeshadow never smudges whenever I use this, unlike the Lorac one, which I did try and it was nowhere near as good and I did get quite a bit of creasing by the end of the day. Um, so I'm not really sure which shadow to go ahead and use, but I'm thinking, because one of my favorites is MAC All That Glitters, so I might use that and then put a little bit of wedge in the crease. So I'll start with my crease shade and I'm just using a Sigma E25 blending brush. I kind of like the fact that this looks really cool toned in the pan, but then once you've got it on your eyes, I mean, you can see here, it looks so cool toned. Once you get it on the eyes, it actually turns into this really pretty, warm, kind of slightly orangey shade. Just really nicely warms up the crease. Great, and so now I'm going to take All That Glitters, which is this really pretty kind of pearly pink shade. It's coming off a little bit lighter on camera. I'm just going to apply that to the entire lid. I really like sheeny kind of eyeshadows across the lid. I think they look so pretty. And this one just is so nice. You can see that. I'm just going to kind of blend up the edges a little bit so that it's really nice and smooth and diffused. And then I'll just replicate it on the other eye. Great, and I think while I'm at it, I might just do under my under eye shadow as well. And I think what I might do is go for this one here, which is Satin Taupe. Just to kind of make it a little bit darker. Um, this is sort of what I'm planning on wearing to the engagement party. I'm not entirely sure yet, but... So now onto eyeliner, and the eyeliner that I'm taking with me is from Stila. All of the text has rubbed off of this, I've used it so much, but this is C-State All Day Liquid Eyeliner, and I love this stuff, I think it's amazing. So I'm just going to do a cat eye wing flick thing. Can't talk while I'm doing this, so cue fast forward slash music montage. Okay, wow, so this is getting really bold and big. What's happened is I can't actually do my eyeliner this far away from the mirror. I'm partly blind. I usually wear glasses, so I'm having a bit of a hard time right here, right now, if you can't tell what's going on with my eye. Okay, well, I'm going to try and replicate them the other eye now and see how I go. Hopefully, there's going to be a little bit better. <laughs> we'll see. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is about as even it's going to get right now. Um, yeah, then they're not really even, but we're just going to go ahead and move on. Now I'm just going to go ahead and coat my lashes with some mascara and I'm taking a sample with me and that's the Benefit The Real Mascara. I actually really like this um, and I didn't think I would because I've heard really mixed reviews about it on YouTube, but I think I'm a big fan of plastic ones and applicators. My only issue is that this is so spiky, it kind of pokes your eyes. So it's not always the most pleasant. Uh, but aside from that, I do quite like it. I find it makes my lashes look really nice and long and full and natural. And because I don't tend to curl my lashes all the time, I find that this is really great for me.
Okay, so that is my eyelashes done. Now, my brows are a bit of a mess right now, so I'm gonna be plucking them tonight. But in the meantime, I'm just gonna try and fix them up a little bit using my Anastasia Brow Wiz. I absolutely love this. I've got it in the shade Dark Brown, and it just is so easy to use. It's basically just a wax pencil that you kind of fill in your brows with. This isn't completely ashy tone, it's kind of got a bit of warmth in the color, so I feel like that makes it look very natural. The reason why I'm taking this with me and not the Real Brow Kit is that I actually think that this is more lightweight and I'm trying to really reduce the number of things I take with me. As you can probably tell already, I'm taking so much stuff makeup wise, which kind of stresses me out a little bit. I wanted to be really minimal, barely take anything, and it just doesn't seem to be happening. Okay, and I'm just going to brush through my brows as well. Great, so that's my brows done, and now onto lips. I'm actually going to take a few different lipsticks with me. So in terms of the lip liner, I'm just going to take one and that's from MAC and it is the Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Kiss Me Quick and it's just a very cool toned red lip liner and this is really nice. I'm actually going to line my lips with that. And then in terms of colours, I've got three that I'm taking with me, two high end and one budget option. So the first one is from Tom Ford and it is the Tom Ford what is it called? Lip Color in the shade 15 Wild Ginger and it's this beautiful, bold, warm toned red. And this is what I'm going to put on my lips today. Then the other two that I'm taking with me, uh, the first one is from Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to take this with me as more of an everyday lip color. And then the last one that I'm taking is a matte lipstick from Milani and it's in the shade Matte Darling and it's a really pretty Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and line my lips now with the MAC lip liner. Okay, great, so that's my lips lined, and I actually like to fill them in as well, just in case, and I'm just going to top that with the Tom Ford lipstick. I actually really like using a cool tone lip liner and then a warm tone lipstick. I think it looks really good, and it ends up sort of neutralizing itself, and I feel like it just works a lot better. So, that's kind of... My finished look. This is probably the makeup I'm going to be wearing on Saturday. I really like it. I just think it's really fun. It's so, you know, it's it's simple. It's not over the top, and I just think it's really pretty. I love that all that glitter is um, eyeshadow, and then this lipstick is just amazing. It's so pretty, and it's got a real pop, and I think it's going to look great with my white dress. So that was everything I'm going to be taking with me. I'm going to be using a little makeup bag from Karen Walker that you will have seen in my packing video. Uh, but I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and do keep an eye out for my next couple which are going to be a vlog and also a little bit on engagement party planning. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy those and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.